What's up, everyone? My name is Alan, founder and consultant at 4 Marketing, and welcome to day four of Braze Miss 2023. Today, we'll be talking about Braze data types. It's a simple yet foundational concept that will be super helpful anytime you're working with Braze data. And this concept of data types carries over to any software you work with because data types is a core concept of computer science in general. By the way, Braze data types are so closely related to Braze custom attributes that we will inevitably end up talking about custom attributes as well. Let's jump right in. Well, we got to see a glimpse of data types when talking about the default attributes yesterday. So back at the user import docs, we saw options string and Boolean. Every single attribute in Braze, so profile attributes, custom attributes, and more needs to have a specific data type. In other words, every data in Braze needs to be one of the available data types in Braze, and this data will keep that data type for all instances of that data. So for example, first name is a string. That means for every single user profile in Braze, their first name attribute will be a string, no exceptions. Similarly, custom attributes follow the same rule that every custom attribute data will have a specific data type. And here on the custom attributes doc, they list out the available data types in Braze and a brief explanation of each type. Let's go through these one by one. First, we have Booleans. And yes, that is how you pronounce Booleans. Boolean data can only have two values, true or false. It's a simple yes or no data type that can be helpful to log some basic binary data on your user profile. Let's say on the Nike website, I'm able to become a premium member then Nike can create a custom attribute called premium member with a Boolean data type and log a value of true for my user profile. By the way, to clarify some terminology here, Boolean is the data type. Premium member is, the, is what we call the key or field. And true is the value of this key or field. Even though we can't see the data type here, on the user profile page, we know that premium member is a Boolean because it has the value of true. And also if you navigate to data settings and custom attributes, you can see the data type for all your custom attributes here. And we can see that premium member is a Boolean. For default attributes, just like how they have reserved names for each data, they also have reserved data types that cannot be changed. And you can see that list on the user import documentation here. Moving on to numbers. Numbers is exactly what you think it is. They are numbers. Typically in computer science, they separate integers and decimals, but Braze decided to keep things simple and just create a data type called numbers. Braze provides some great examples of attributes with the data type of number, like shoe size, waist size, or number of times a user has viewed a certain product feature or category. Those are all useful information that Nike can track on my user profile to send personalized recommendations or gauge my interest on a specific product. For example, I viewed the shoe page 325 times, which must mean that I am pretty interested in their shoes. Next, we have strings. Now, strings are probably the most commonly used data type, and I personally see it as the default data type. Strings are any group of alphanumeric characters, that's letters, numbers, and or symbols. So you can see why it's the most commonly used data type. Name, ID, or any general information could be a string. Here I have my favorite shoe custom attribute or favorite shoe key or field entered as a string, which has a value of Nike Air Max 1. These slides looked very comfortable on the Nike website. But you can also see some other examples of strings. So email, first name, uh, email address, first name, um, shopping preference, and the symbols test, because I wanted to see if they accept symbols. These are all examples of string data type. And the last data type for today is time. Mother nature, father time. Time is actually technically also a string, but it's a string in a specific format ISO 8601, which if you watch video day three, you'd know that it's the year, month, date, time format. Even in the user import page, it says that date of birth has a data type of string, even though it's actually a time. 
Time data can be very helpful in many ways. You can celebrate a user's birthday, which is right here for me. Um, the last time a user purchased an item or the date that they became a premium member to celebrate their anniversaries and the possibilities are endless. So Boolean numbers, strings, and time, those are the main basic data types. Now there are other data types we see here like arrays, objects, and arrays of objects. I like to call these advanced data types as these three data types are basically different groupings of the original four data types that we went over today. On the next video, we will spend more time talking about these advanced data types. That's it for day four. If you have any questions, please share them in the comments. We're happy to help. If you learned something from this video, please subscribe for more awesome Braze videos in the future. Thank you for watching and see you next time.